Yeah, what makes a high-performing team has been a real challenge for organisations and, um, and teams for a very, very long time. Um, this is the role of synergy. Um, synergy, uh, obviously human synergistics, um, it's in our title, it's in our name, but synergy is where the combined efforts of the members of a team um, is worth more than the sum of their individual parts. And so high performance teams is about learning how to work together uh, to create that uh, extra value. It's hard to do because there are so many moving parts. Um, it's hard to do because it takes, uh, the, there's an emotional side as well as a rational side. Um, and it's very hard to do uh, because it's not a recipe. Um, it is a, uh, it's context dependent. And, um, and so there are, uh, there'll be slightly different answers for uh, different teams in those different situations. So the way that the high performance teams framework works is that we take a, a, a team of people through a workshop process, in fact a number of workshops, to identify uh, key parts of what makes them a team and what makes them an effective team. Um, the workshop process is integral because the answers that they come up with will be different for each team in different contexts. And so being really clear about why they exist, what they bring as individuals, and what the operating principles are of a team um, can be different for different teams, of course, but as long as a single team agrees, this is the approach then um, they will uh, achieve high levels of trust um, and, uh, and commitment. All great teams um, uh, understand that they only know what they know at the moment and so they're continuously looking to learn and grow. Um, and so their learning agility, how they learn um, and agreeing on that is very, very important how they integrate with others, whether that's a new team member joining the team and how they bring a person on that journey, or how they integrate um, outside of their team with other teams inside the organisation or potentially even outside the organisation, customers, stakeholders, etc., uh, is critical. And uh, last but by no means least, uh, how do they monitor their performance as a team? And so what measurements do they use that would indicate that, hey, we're on track, not just in our content, uh, our deliverables, but how we deliver. And so the series of workshops is designed to get um, the team themselves um, agreeing on how they're going to go about doing uh, these, these multiple inputs uh, in a way which is um, accepted and committed to.